Hi, I'm Dr. Susan Bucata. I'm an associate professor at the University of Rochester and clinical director of the Center for Bone Health. So in general, with your skeleton, things continue to de deteriorate as you age. It's one of the few situations where after age 30, when you build your maximal bone, you act, it's all downhill from there. However, there are a lot of things that you can do to slow down the clock. Doing exercise, particularly while you're still growing as an adolescent, things like running, jumping, stair climbing, those are all things that actually stimulate you to make additional bone mass. Growth hormone is needed for that. When we get to be about age 30, our growth hormone really isn't there anymore. And so we can't get the added benefit of actually gaining bone mass by doing significant weight bearing and jumping exercise. However, it dramatically slows down your rate of bone loss if you do weight bearing exercise. In terms of the weight bearing exercise that you have to do, it's only 30 minutes a day. That's what's recommended and that's really what maximizes your bone maintenance. So calcium is very important. And there are many people who are lactose intolerant who can't get it through their diet, or so they think. Excellent sources of calcium are leafy greens such as bok choy or collard greens. In fact, a half cup of collard greens has as much calcium in it as an eight ounce glass of milk. Giving up smoking is one of the most important things for bone health. Not only does it make you more likely to develop osteoporosis, it significantly increases your risk of fracturing. And although osteoporosis is a bad disease to have, the name of the game is actually fracture. You don't wanna be that person that fractures. You cannot do just one thing and have good bone health. It's a combination of calcium, vitamin D, exercise, and other good health habits such as not smoking and not drinking excessive amounts.